Joe Biden's description of Dick Cheney as the most dangerous vice president in American history serves as an example of sharp partisan rhetoric, revealing broader anxieties about political authority and its potential for abuse. When the public hears such critiques, especially concerning executive power and the role of the vice presidency, it may interpret Biden's remarks as an effort to undercut Cheney's legacy and influence. This tension grows darker when contrasted with today's political landscape, where figures like Liz Cheney, once aligned with her father's conservative stance, have found unlikely alliances, such as her support for Kamala Harris. It sparks questions about political loyalty and opportunism, how past criticisms of Dick Cheney now clash with the changing stances of his daughter, particularly her opposition to Trump. The phrase, what a difference a few wars make, underscores the belief that political views shift dramatically with time, often shaped by new interests or shifting power dynamics. To many, this shift reads as hypocrisy, where former enemies become unexpected allies depending on the winds of political fortune. Vice President Cheney interpretation of the Vice President? Vice President Cheney has been the most dangerous Vice President we've had probably in American history. Uh, he has, he has the idea, he doesn't realize that Article 1 of the Constitution defines the role of the Vice President of the United States. That's the executive. He works in the executive branch. He should understand that. Everyone should understand that. The only authority the Vice President has from a legislative standpoint is the vote. Only when there is a tie vote. He has no authority relative to the Congress. The idea he's part of the legislative branch is a bizarre notion invented by Cheney to aggrandize the power of a unitary executive and look where it's gotten us. It has been very dangerous. Beneath this lies a psychological interplay of personal values, power struggles, and fluctuating loyalties. The public, in observing these transformations, focuses on the perceived inconsistencies raising concerns about authenticity and the sincerity of political figures. The evolving alliances and critiques are not just about policy or political clout. They tap into deeper questions of identity and integrity. The challenge lies in navigating moral and personal struggles while maintaining values in a rapidly shifting and often contradictory political landscape.